What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today, in this video, I'm going to solve all your XP problems in one video. <laughs> so today guys, we're going to be uh, answering a question, probably the most asked question that I get on all of the streams that I do. And that question is, D, I'm stuck at XXX rank. What do I need to do to get more XP because it's really starting to slow down? And how the hell are you adventure rank 35 already? The big thing here, guys, is, you know, I've talked briefly about, you know, what I do to get my AR up and so on and so forth. But we're going to break this down in like a step-by-step -step process. I'm also going to give you guys some tips and some tricks and show you guys some hidden chests to give you guys some ideas as to what you guys should actually be looking for when you guys are treasure hunting. But before we get into this, I want to just leave you with a fact, like straight out of the gate, that is literally going to blow your mind. And just with the chest alone okay let's just ignore quests ignore anything else ignore future patches any additions to the game just with chess alone in this game there's literally 30 to 40 thousand adventure rank xp that you can get just from finding all the chests in the world so if you guys are struggling at any level whether that's 10 15 20 22 37 45 45 47 do 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 <laughs> whatever it is shouts out to all about the benjamins but whatever level you guys are struggling at seriously uh, make sure that you guys open your chest all right so anyway uh, now that we got that out of the way 30 to 40 thousand xp let's go ahead and dive on in so first things first guys um you're never really at a shortage for things to do i think the kicker is it's just like we all kind of come in this game uh, i came in this game myself expecting a very traditional rpg or action game experience where everything you see is right in front of you and if they want you to do it it'll be there and then if it's not there it's not important right and that's how i operated for a long time in this game so first off hats off to you for killing all of the stuff in the game that's right in front of you basically all the story quests that they give you when they tell you to wait till 29 to do the next story quest or 23 or whatever hats off to you for knocking that out if you guys have already went through the map and unlocked all of your waypoints and you guys have found all the bosses another hat off to you for that if you guys have figured out that by now you should probably be using your resin to refresh and you know do your thing so you can get all the xp that you possibly can hats off to you for doing that as well so the big thing that i want to address while i kill this boss guys is you gotta be using your resin uh, you know i can't stress this enough uh, a lot of people are like what's resin what's resin uh, recharges or refills like if you guys want to ar up quickly like resin is so so important to use because you get a certain amount of it every single day so again you know depending on your classification of player like so if you're a free-to-play player and your only interest is summoning and you're only more concerned about just enjoying the game at a slower pace and as long as you get enough summons or get to summon as much as your heart desires you're in a good place this is not going to apply to you at all because the big thing here is if you guys are just summoning then you guys are going to be using all of your primo gems specifically for the sake of summoning but if you guys want to you know get your ar up you guys want to be ready for future content earlier you guys are trying to explore the limits of what your characters or and or team can do you know based on the gear and stuff that you guys get you got to be using your resin so an example of this is you guys can see that it costs 40 resin to you know fight a boss or whatever and once you guys get to ar35 you're pretty much guaranteed a four star piece of gear every time you kill a boss right if you guys are looking for the gladiator gear you got to be at least adventure rank 30. so the kicker there is making sure that you guys get there and with these tools that we're going to talk about the first one and most important one outside of chess obviously because we talked about that already uh with the with the sheer amount of xp you can get from that is literally going to be your resin so again if you guys want to ar up a as asap use your resin do your re refreshes every single day and get that done um but find yourself or find your place that you want to be somewhere in between there the next topic of conversation, guys, is going to be the other resin that you get for free. I don't have any right now. But if you guys go to your bag slot here, you guys should probably have these little moons, these fragile resins is what they're called. And they're basically what they are is they're free-to-play refreshes, right? And all the refresh is is basically you're just kind of refilling your energy, right? So you hit that plus key, you'll pay, you know, primo gems or whatever to get the energy. But what happens is, is every time you AR up, you get, you know, a couple moons or whatever, every single level, one to two moons. I think it doesn't turn to two moons till later, though. 
Um, but you'll get a bunch of those. And you want to make sure that you guys use those um, so you can level up. And the primary focus when you guys are doing this is you guys are looking at your characters, right? You guys are saying, okay, um, Gina is going to be my primary DPS and my healer. You know, what do I need for her for the weapon that I'm using, right? So if I need to enhance this, then I need to focus on the fragment of Decoravian's Epic. So I need to be looking at what days those drop in the dungeon. Oh, I need Black Crystal Horn. So I need to look at, you know, killing, you know, this particular monster, the giant hill of churls. Or I need to, you know, get these weathered arrowheads. So I need to go kill some more hill of churls, right? But those are things that you're focused on. Now, in terms of everything after that. So what do you do when you're out of energy, when you have nothing left to do? This is huge. And this is where it comes into finding the hidden quests and the quests that are basically just all over the world. So if you guys have been using the interactive map, uh, the video that I put out with the interactive map, you guys will find that there's 45 points of interest. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys the major points of interest, specifically these three locations here. I'm not going to tell you what's there, but you guys got to do some digging on your own, okay? So these three locations here, huge point of interest, all right? Now the point of interest is going to be over here, Mingyun Village. Now the point of interest is also going to be in Gilly Plains. A big point of interest will be in conjunction with Gilly Plains and then Wing Shu In. You'll have another point of interest over here at Tianqiu Valley again. Uh, this is another big one. All of this, this whole area right here is another point of interest, specifically the village, okay? Like all of these places that I'm pointing out to you are huge sources of XP. Like another point of XP, if you guys might not have noticed this, these are locations that I literally had, like I skip over every single time and I always forget that they exist. But like if you see these little squares here with the little diamonds in the middle, uh, these little di these squares with the diamonds in the middle offer you basically side quests that you can do one time. You do these trials, they give you anywhere from three to 500 XP a run and they give you great loot, primo gems, literally everything. It's amazing, all right? So if you guys haven't done these yet, you definitely need to go do them. Now, after this, after you've done all that, you've done all your quests, you found all of your Oculus. Yes, I'm talking to you. If you don't know what an Oculus is, you better ask somebody. <laughs> but no, you got to go through each of the regions and find all the Oculus and level them up to 10. Um, once you've got all of that done, okay, you've done all that, you've used your energy, you've done your refreshes, you've done everything that I've talked about today, you checked out those points of interest, you've done all the side quests in each of the cities, and now you literally have nothing to do. Then at that point, it's about chess, quests, and waypoints and what I mean by that is now you're gonna go through the world you're gonna make sure you found every single waypoint in the world okay period you're also gonna make sure you go through the world and you guys are gonna find the shrines you guys know what shrines I'm talking about shrine of the depths the ones with the little keys you know with the buildings and stuff that kind of look like this you're definitely 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 want to go through the world and you guys are gonna find these then after that you guys are going to go through the world and you guys are going to look for those little blue spirits that lead you to these little shrines. Because every single spirit in the world is going to lead you to chests, which leads you to XP. Then after that, you guys are going to go through the world and you guys are going to look for those little blue spirits that lead you to these little shrines. Because every single spirit in the world is going to lead you to chests, which leads you to XP. Then after that, guys, then it's all about balloon hunting. Because then you guys need to find all of these little plants in the world and you guys will activate these to go ahead and shoot these out of the sky to get some more XP because these are going to spawn a chest and potentially and obviously some primo gems for you guys as well as we talked about in a previous video uh, but you guys definitely want to go knock those out after that you guys are going to find all the challenges in the world and you guys are going to complete these bad boys as well still think you don't have nothing to do doing all of these things is going to take some time right so this is going to involve you exploring the world so while you're exploring the world and you're doing all of these things in conjunction you're going to find even more things to do and then and only then after you finish all of those things so basic story quests quests side quests more quests <laughs> balloons challenges so on and so forth then the game becomes treasure chest simulator <laughs> 2.0 and the kicker though is when you guys are looking for these chests and i gotta say like like i said like when i started playing this game i really didn't know how to find treasure so when looking for chests you gotta really think outside the box because as you guys can see on my screen here i'm flying through a field and you're like damn d look at all those challenges and chests you didn't get so the the kicker though is when you look at the world this way you miss out on so much because you think that you found everything because it's not in plain sight. And for those of you guys asking me about Sonic the Hedgehog, he's right over there. So if you guys need to farm him, I am right in the middle of this field over here in Tianqiu Valley, all right? 
But when you guys are looking for treasure chests, I want to show you guys a few things. I've showed you guys the one over here at King Yun Peak, but I, listen, I'll show you guys this one anyway. And I'm going to show you guys a couple more because I, I, I need you guys to get into the mindset of a treasure hunter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I want to show you something real quick. And I want you guys to come up here and I want you guys to get this loot uh, because it's ridiculous. All right. But basically all you guys are going to do is you guys are going to come up here and you guys are going to stand in this spot. There's literally a diggable chest. All right. Next one is this place right here. As you guys can see, I'm just right here on the coastline next to Gilly Plains. But this one I've already done. But this literally, you, you can look at this. You see there's a rock on the stone pillar. If you have main character and he's activated with Geo, you put a rock right here. And what it'll do is it'll make a chest spawn right here. But literally the world is littered with secrets. I'm talking like you literally will have to check like inch by inch by inch of the map another good thing is if you guys use your witcher vision <laughs> or whatever this thing is called uh this will actually highlight items that, don't, that are interactable so you, you guys can see i have another balloon plan here that i can do or if there happened to be a chest or a destructible item in the area it, it will literally highlight the item for you so you can check the item and look for the items that you're trying to find again the easiest indicator as to what you guys still need to do is going to be the wonders of the world and your achievements so like if you're looking at this and i still literally have 211 chests to open in Leoa and another 97 or so chests or maybe even more uh, in Mondstadt. So assuming that I would still have these chests to open without my dailies or without anything, it's still a minimum of, a, of, of another 6,000 XP that I can grab assuming that each chest gives me, nets me at about 20 XP per. Th those 6,000 XP points is basically a f almost a full level for me even at 35. So if you guys are at lower level, then you guys have a lot of XP to get and then after and then once you guys get to a point where you've done everything where you've gotten all the chests in the world you've hundred percent of the world uh, while we wait for the next major update with the new continent and all that stuff that's supposed to be coming um, then at that point it's just up to you like then you're just farming match you're doing your refreshes every day you're burning your energy every day and you're knocking out your dailies and then after that it's up to you entirely what you want to do um, it is a big super duper grind fest up to a certain point in this game I would say up to about adventure rank 40 and then after adventure rank 40 then you could just kind of chill you know what i'm saying you could chill choose how you want to play the game and decide how you want to experience the world of Tavot. so um, if you guys are stuck anywhere between 20 and 40 these are the things that i recommend doing so you guys can maximize your adventure rank and continue to progress through the game so anyway guys that's all i wanted to cover today uh, i'm going to bring this video to a close for this archer snipes me in the head thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, it's your boy Demo, and if you guys get any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box, and I'll be happy to assist. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.